In May of 2016, we had the opportunity to travel to Iran on a trip sponsored by The Nation magazine. There were 37 people on the tour and all agreed that it was one of the most interesting and enjoyable trips they had ever taken. And while in Esfahan, our excellent guide, Afshin Pasha, took us to a miniaturist shop. We now enter the shop. The fame of the city or the country, the people who are great in doing artistic work. There he is. His picture is actually when he was, he's young, but this is the time that he was younger. Okay? So this is his picture, explanation about him and what he does and about his profession. He's a mini miniaturist, if we can say. Miniature is a special type of painting, very, very small and minute, you know, kind of painting, having different themes, and generally it is painted on bones. But by the bones, we have something like... Okay. So the paintings can be on plastic, which will be probably very, very expensive. <laughs> and then the cow bone and the camel bone. The difference between the cow bone and the camel bone is that the cow bone breaks, changes the shape, maybe inflates or cracks, but the camel bone lasts, if I can say forever, I haven't said wrong, lasts for a very long time, sunlight, moisture, or other things, doesn't have any effect on camel bone. So a precious piece of miniature work is generally done on camel bones. For example, he never does anything on cow bones or plastic or things he always done, does his job as he's doing one here on camel bones. The color that he uses, they're all natural colors and sometimes he also uses gold power for special paintings as he has. If you just notice the one that he's painting now, it just asked. Oh, it's very heavy. This is one of the paintings he's doing. Just gather, gather in the, the pol different themes polar game, like herders, uh, uh, theological, uh, not theology, just a scholar sitting with the students and also the nomads. This is one of the themes. As you can see generally, a camel bone cannot be perfectly square or rectangle. Well, naturally because of the shape of uh, the bone of the... Uh, this, is the, this is the one which is finished, more or less the same, yeah. The same thing here, yeah. This is almost done, but the same thing, but in a different, you know, position here. Uh, these are, these are also the same thing, but you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you about them as well. Um, as I mentioned, that the colors are very natural colors. He sometimes, I mean, he has his own special uh, brush, which he makes it from. This is from the fur from cat. He uses on a special paintings. He has one here. Yeah, this is the working one. These whiskers. are from, oops. Whiskers. What is? Whiskers. Whiskers? whiskers? These? No. Yeah. Here, fur. Sometimes here. <laughs> Cats do not have anything here, but they have here <laughs> at the back. Okay? They must be very, very, you know, fine and tender to make sure that he can do his best work here. Generally, as I mentioned, the themes are like polo game, the nomads, travelers, caravans, lovers, animal, nature, pictures from the old books of Ferdowsi, and so many other themes. So the price of the, I mean, the work is just not because of the size. It's actually because of some, for example, probably something like this. This is, for example, a big one is 30 US dollar, but this one is so small, this is 50, or this one is 50, they're so small. So size doesn't have to do anything with it. 
Yeah? So the side doesn't have to do anything with the value of the work that he does. And then the next thing would be what we have called as like the frames that we have. Look at this piece here. They have like metals like brass, uh, copper, bone, and colored wood. They put them together and when they put all these things together on the other side they get this pattern. He also makes this and then they also have a special workshop only making these things. And what they do is with a special uh, saw, they cut one thin layer out of this, okay? And then they stick it over a wooden frame. Look at this one for example, this is totally covered all inside and outside. For sure these are very expensive ones. He is not actually the one who makes these things. He only does the painting. There are other workshops who make these things and he chooses which one is suitable for the work. For example, when there is a painting over there from Necropolis that we saw in Persepolis, Persepolis and the price is 3,000 US dollar, for sure he chooses a very, very good frame. But for a rather smaller one, for sure less expensive ones. So that's actually how the miniature is painted. He's going to actually draw one of these traditional Iranian, you know, paintings on his own card. He's going to uh, draw Omar Khayyam, a very famous Iranian poet. So you can see how he does it with that little things. Uh, Welcome, Jack. So he's just doing it with this very, very little pen. And then, what are this the is, paints or the pigments? Yeah, what, what is he painting with? What, or is it ink? Or what in Ike, in the Mabo de Rangi, what is it? From herbs, uh, herbs, 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 and I told you, in some very special ones, they use also gold powder. They just powder them and just mix it with the color and use it to make it gold plated. So then the next thing which actually has got miniature um, paintings on them are these boxes, which in the old days, you know, Mardizanas, which uh, in the old days they had little boxes like this, yeah. which you could keep it for the jewelries or very precious things. But for example, this one is a special one. Do you know why? Because if you look at the picture here, first of all, look at, notice this oh, one. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is Omar Kayam. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's all free. It's free. Okay. You can hear it in Berlin and Berlin. Okay. So this one, look at this one. <coughs> For example, this is a very fine artistic work because when you look at the picture here, for example, you see a man, a woman, a man, a woman, and one, you know, after each other. But when you open the door, you see the other way around. Woman, man, woman, man, with the same painting. So these are like artistic, you know, creation that some artists have, and he makes it. Most of these works are done by him, but there are also some which do not have his signature. They have his student's signature. So that's actually... All is. And then after the paintings are finished, they generally just put a special substance over it so that the color, color doesn't fly away and remains for a long time. So the paintings are all his, but some of those are the students. Uh, he can tell you which one is his, which one is not his. Okay, Vivian, a seat here for you to Thank sit. You so much. Okay? Yes. They also have boxes for the eyeliners, you know, for these blank things. You can see the round ones. Uh -huh. Yeah, these are the eyeliners. Some men also use it for the mustache. <laughs> oh, Jack! <laughs> Jack! Oh, we don't have white mustache liner. Sorry about that. But honestly, some people put some kind of oil or some things, you know, for the mustache as well. Jean, what about you? Nothing? Oh, okay. All right. So, this is the these are the themes of. That's all about these things. Uh, I'm going to explain for you and who will. Okay. Oh, by the way, 
uh, these papers are rather old papers and these are actually from the book of um, what is it what we call it um, Ferdosi these are papers from the book of Ferdosi from old times some of them are really old back to 80 to 100 years old some of them are new ones which are copied and made with the same thing, which are the story of the fighters, the lovers, the hunters, and things like this. Okay? That was all about the miniature things. Thank you. Thank Pleasure. You. Thank you. We wanted to bring a piece of artwork back from Iran and decided to buy one of their camel bone boxes, which you can see here. As you can see, it's very intricately and delicately painted. And we were told it was one of the best examples of miniature painting. And I'm sure it took many hours of work to produce. It is made of camel bone and should be very durable. As we try to turn it around so you can see all the sides. It's very carefully made, as you can see. Incredibly intricate. We wish more Americans could have the opportunity to visit Iran. Unfortunately, they have been misled by propaganda and don't know history. The country is filled with many, many historical sites, including Persepolis. The people are very open, friendly, and generous, and love Americans.